In 1885, 16-year-old Frederick Drumpf arrived in America with a hunger in his eyes that helped him build a restaurant from the ground up and from the ground down, travelers tried and pried the land for Klondike gold. As they were sold Frederick's food and drink, he took the fortune from their pockets before they can even make it to the promised land. Now isn't that an American dream? And isn't it a shame that if his grandson Donald Trump was president in his time, it would be impossible for him to be here? In 2017, there are immigrant children that been in America with a dream in their eyes, but the rich just want them rounded up and grounded down into nothing but a bad American dream. So they try to pry them from their rights, which are more valuable than gold. And as usual, Americans taking the fortune from their future before they're even granted the promise this land gave them. Isn't it a shame? They have to experience this in America. America, you are an immigrant except you are a first generation that destroyed many generations, told us it was for the greater good, but the greater good was for the greater greed, stole land, lives, and lied about liberty, yet still asked for second chances, and they gave them to you because you will always be our mother. You are the stereotype our president looks for. You are the hypocrite we know, and you don't know. If someone has to leave because they are an immigrant, then all of us have to go. What made you forget your roots? What made you want to uproot children that came here just like you? Did you only adopt them for the paycheck? I can't tell if they need DACA or DIFUS, but the children are suffering. You call some dreamers, but took their reason to sleep at night. The night light that barely keeps police away. To get rid of the Deferred Action of Childhood Arrivals Act is to bring about the deferred dreams of over 800,000 children. Where did this self-hatred come from? You can't tell someone you're going to take everything away without giving it back threefold. Your children have followed your rules, but you continue to punish them for following you. Maybe it's you that needs to go back to where you came from. You are the far bigger criminal. You forgot about Puerto Rico, probably got it mixed with Mexico, thought the hurricanes could do your dirty work. That's why it took you so long to kiss the wound. America, you are the mother of immigrants, the holy grail of rebellion. But freedom is no longer your last name, more like last result. There are no other people in America than Americans. America, you will always be our mother. But if you won't help us, it's time for you to step down and let us find our own way to care for each other. For the dreamers.